What if great players wore the jersey they were supposed to? What if the lottery worked out differently? What if legendary players got the ultimate prize? Welcome to Big Apple Hockey's What Ifs. In 2001, Yarmer Yager was the runner-up for the league MVP and the cash-strapped Pittsburgh Penguins, who were still recovering from filing for bankruptcy in 1998, was looking to shed high-priced talent. Penguins general manager Craig Patrick shopped around where they could ship their superstar. The Rangers and the Penguins in the summer of 2001 were actually in talks and were this close to having Yarmir Yager be sent to the New York Rangers. When New York Rangers GM Glenn Sather proposed a deal that included defenseman Kim Janssen, Jan Halavich, but the prize jewel, their 1999 fourth overall selection, Pavel Brendel. Craig Patrick, then Penguins general manager, was fired by the Rangers years beforehand and was not a fan of dealing with the Rangers. So there were some, some tense negotiations there. Patrick had pulled out of the deal last second. And then he turned around and dealt Yarmer Yager to, as you know, the Washington Capitals. That ended up being for Ross Lupischuk, Chris Beach, and Michael Civic. Chris Beach was a decent prospect, but Brendel was considered by many to be a better prospect at that point. Even though there were some issues, uh, Brendel had the higher ceiling. Um, Ross Lupischuk never, he played in the NHL, I think for maybe a cup of coffee. And Michael Civic ended up really doing nothing in the NHL as well. For two seasons, Yager would play for the Washington Capitals. He would fail to make the playoffs in his first season and only get to the sixth seed in the Eastern Conference in his second season. The lack of personal success and the lack of team success prompted the Capitals to move him to the New York Rangers in January of 2004 in exchange for Anson Carter. And the reason why I ask what if is because you get Yarmer Yager for two and a half more seasons before that lockout. So Eric Lindros is not acquired by the Rangers in this scenario. So you, you got to look at what they would do to bring in another center behind Peter Nedved, or do they continue thinking that Mark Messier at 40 years old can be the number two center playing on a line with Theo Fleury and Mike York? Because the line more than likely would have been the Checkmates 2.0, which would have been Yager with Peter Nedved and Radek Dvorak moving to the, from the right wing to the left wing. So that would have been the line. You would have gotten Yarmir Yager in his very late 20s instead of his early 30s. And you're looking at a superstar best player in the world at the time who led the league in uh, points with 121 that year in 2001, who lost out on the MVP to Joe Sackick. You would have had him as a New York Ranger. If you like that video, we got a lot more. So check out any of these that are right over here. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter.